friends, welcome back to my videos. Um, today we're going to be doing hot glue trees, uh, Christmas trees for ornaments um, or whatever you want to use them for, but kind of with the emphasis of ornaments. Um, I'm using glitter glue sticks from the dollar store, okay, um, 15 in a package and they come with these different colors, so this is great. I'm going to be using the green one, the red one, and the yellow one today or the gold one, I'm sorry. Um, you see the little glob there. That was the previous video I had done um, some snowflakes and that's the leftover uh, silver glue stick from my uh, glue gun. So now I have green loaded up and we're ready to go. Um, you, the only thing with glue sticks is, oh, when I'm using, sorry, I'm using parchment paper that I also got from the dollar store. Okay, it doesn't stick to the surface and I've reused this sheet many times. So um, the only thing is with the glue sticks, you can't switch them out like you could if you were doing paints or markers or anything like that. Unless you have multiple glue guns, if you have one in each, one color in each one, that'd be awesome. Um, the glue gun I already had, it's not from the dollar store. You'd have to get one from a craft store or any store really probably has them. Um, it's not a very expensive one. It, it does its job. And um, so I only have the one, so I'm going to do all my green first. Then I'm going to load up my next color and do what I need to do with the next color and then again with the third color. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get started with my green tree frames. Not always so great with the triangles, but it's worth a shot. So we're just going to squeeze. Let's see if I can do this at an angle so you can see it better. So I'm going to squeeze and pull down to make a corner and go across. Mine tend to be a little bit more lumpy. If you're really experienced with glue guns, then you probably make these really smooth, beautiful lines. I don't do that as well. Not yet, anyway. This is a relatively new craft for me. I'm going to move this over so you can see a little bit better. Um, I didn't even know about using glue on parchment paper until recently, so it's a little bit new for me. I'm just going to go over the spots that look a little thin, I guess in between me squeezing the trigger. Okay, and there's my first triangle. Not gorgeous, but most trees aren't perfectly triangles anyway. And then I'm going to make my second one. I'm going to try to keep my movement a little more even. All right, now I'm getting low. I want you to see that. I'm getting low here. My next color is going to be red. So I'm going to go ahead and load my red up. Maybe. Possibly. Nope, it's not ready for me. Okay, sorry about that. It's not quite ready. It felt like it was. So I'm going to go back here where I was and just thicken up that line a bit. Maybe that way I'm angle I'm holding it. And then go back to the top and draw that line down. I'm not worried about burning the parchment paper, so I'm actually using it to keep my hands steady. Leaning against, like as if I was using, you know, I'm actually leaning against it. Um, join that up a little bit better there. And it looks like, yes, I still have room for a third one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Squeeze evenly. Okay, get to the corner, do it again, squeeze evenly. Let's see, now I think, yes, now I've got the space there I can load in my, see that space right there? This little hammer thing isn't going to keep pushing it unless it's got something to grab. So now I've got my red, because that's going to be my next color and that'll help push the green stick forward into the heat so it melts. There we go. And then go up to the top. I'm gonna, there we go. Kind of go down. Now the ones I've made before I didn't make a little tree trunk and they kind of looked weird to me without the tree trunk so I think I'm going to use a little bit of green that's left and make a tree trunk. But that's the basic shape I can look at them real quick and see if any of them need a little more thickness. This one looks like it needs a little bit of help here in the corner. Okay, this is what I made before. This is my ultimate goal. See, the other side's flat, but this is all glittery. Okay, so that's kind of my goal. Um, but I do, like I said, I, I they looked weird without the tree trunk, so I'm just going to add a little bit onto the bottom of each one. I'm actually going to add a little bit extra because I can. I know I can trim it. The good thing about the glue is once it's cold and hard, you can trim it. And I'm just going to make sure I've got just enough there. I'm going to start on top where I was and then just kind of 
fill in underneath and I get it all over the place. That's just the way I am with glue. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna let them cool. I still have some, I'm pretty sure I still have some green in my camera, in my camera, in my uh, hot glue gun. So I'll probably do, I'll probably just make some green balls and use those for something later on. But um, we're gonna let those cool and then I'm gonna come right back and start with the red. Okay, so as I was making those little balls in the corner and using up that, I noticed the color starting to change. So that means my red's ready. So basically I'm gonna start, let's see how I can do this so you can see better. I'm gonna start on one side and I'm just gonna make a glob right on the previous glue. And I'm gonna come across and just kinda lay it down. Make a glob and then just come across and lay it down. Like let, let it just kinda fall. And go across. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that one like that. Go over my next one and now I'm gonna go um, the opposite direction, but I just wanna I'm gonna make a glob to the left, to the side of the green. So it kinda almost like it's holding it together. you can see that all right okay see and then um, now I'm starting to get some space there so I know I'm gonna be ready for my next color soon so I'm gonna load that up and that'll help push the red along and I think I'll go back on this side of this one and maybe this one I'll do extra so we're gonna go up here to the side of the green and then Come on. And then feed it back across. Again, like I've said before, this is not for little kids because of the hot glue and the hot glue gun. But if you have older kids that would do well with this kind of craft, that have used hot glue before or are, are good with like safety and, and whatever, then you definitely, you know, can try this with them. I would supervise them. Um just to be on the safe side, but it's definitely, this would I would consider an older kid's craft. Okay, so my red's done. Now I'm gonna do my gold. Um, so I'm just gonna add to these here. That's kind of how I keep doing things. I'll just add. These will make little circles. I can use them for, I don't know, whatever. Little decorations, little button looking things. That's fine. I don't feel like I'm wasting it completely. But these are great little, um, great little crafts that you can do. You can make gifts with them. You can use them as decorations around your house, for your, you know, tree or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do with it, really. You can take this idea and, and run with it and do something different. All right, now I can see my gold is coming through. So I'm going to pause this for a second, do the rest, and then be right back. And so now I'm just going to add, I went across back and forth back and forth with the gold now I'm just gonna add my um, ball to the top I'm gonna kinda go make sure I'm touching the green top and then just kinda add a glob and like I said once it cools you can cut to shape if you need to okay there's the last one Make sure it's touching the green so it sticks, becomes one piece. This one, add a little bit more here, and a little bit more up here. I'd rather have more and trim away what I don't need than not have enough. So that has to cool for a minute. Um, I'm out in the garage, so everything's cooling a little bit faster, which makes it great. But basically, the end result is going to be like this. So just hold on real tight. I'll be right back while you do that been a few minutes hopefully they are cool enough I'll show you real quick these things they're just like I said they're little like button ornament things you can make out of them um, they pop right off like that okay so those go over there so I'm just gonna get underneath it and kind of pop it sorry pop it from the paper so I'm not pulling on it 
pop it up, pop it up. Okay, and they're all stringy, of course, because that's how hot glue is. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim the strings you can pull. That's not a big deal. But all these like rougher edges, maybe just go ahead and pull, I mean, trim those after you pull the strings. You might still have some in the middle, that's fine. It's not, you know, not a huge deal. And then you can have the little ones help string it up if you want, or just in this case, hang them on the tree or wherever you're gonna put them. You can, because I left some opening here, you can put a string through here or a hook if you want and put them up on the tree. Um, so I'm just gonna, the bottom of this one was globby. But see, I can just kinda trim that. See how that kinda trims real nice, it cuts. You can use um, scissors with a finer point if you want. This has kind of got a thick point. They have like thickness to them, so it makes it hard to get a real nice crisp um, edging. But it's you can move it around a little bit. It's still flexible and soft, but it's all one piece because I made sure it all overlapped as it was going and it dried together. And then, if you want, you can take a Sharpie and you can just put the year on the back. 2017. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. So easy to do. Again, thanks so much. I know this video is a little bit longer than my usual one, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I didn't think about in, in advance how long it takes to go back and forth, but this video is less than 15 minutes long, which means you can do this in 15 minutes. Easy peasy, no problem. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and subscribe. Click the little bell to get notifications for when new videos come up and share. I'd love to be able to share more with people. So I'd love that if you could share my video. Leave your comments, questions below. Everything was from the dollar store with the exception of my glue gun. But otherwise, it's all just dollar store kids crafts. Thanks so much. Happy crafting. See you soon.